Uh, hey, Tavion, this is Jared with the Daily News. Um, you know, North Texas scheduled for this weekend, obviously pushed back a day. Um, you know, this is a team that you guys have kind of been competing with. You guys are expected to be the, the two best teams in the league. You know, the, the cliche thing to kind of say is, you know, treat everybody the same or whatever. But, you know, obviously this is a bigger, it seems like a bigger game. You know, how hyped are you guys for this? And, you know, what kind of opportunity is this for you guys? Uh, you know, we're definitely prepared. Um, you know, we're definitely ready. You know, got to be ready. But, um, you know, it's one of the best things in the conference. So, you know, got to be hyped to play one, play them. So, uh, I think we're going to be ready and prepared. Tavion, it's Fred Calgill with WLKY TV in Louisville. Do you guys, this is sort of the home stretch of the season. Do you feel a sense of urgency, especially given uh, the great season you've had and the position you guys are in? Uh, CBSSports.com has you guys projected as a 10 seed in the NCAA tournament. Um, you know, we're just going to keep going. Um, you know, can't be satisfied with that. Um, like we said, we've been saying all season, we got that target on our back. So, you know, we ain't going to let up. Hey, Tavion, um, this is Jared with the Daily News again. You know, North Texas um, was one of the last teams you guys played last year before the season came to a close. Obviously a tough loss for you guys. Um, and you know they have a pretty experienced team, it seems. What can you learn from that game um, specifically taking into this one? Or is it, you think, a completely new situation? Um, it can come down to one play. You know, um, every game ain't going to go how you want it. So, uh, you know, you just got to play to that time run out. Hey, Tay, this is uh, Kaden with the Herald. Uh, North Texas has one of the best defenses in the in the conference. So, you know, uh, what can you all do to get them off balance and, you know, for you all to be able to score a lot? Um, I feel like with us, you just got to play your game. Um, you know, if you just play your game, everything will be okay. And just not try to do too much, not try to play out of body. Just, you know, do you, just be you, and you'll be all right. Hey, Tay, Tyler Mansell, Rivals.com. I think – uh, they have a guy, JV on Hamlet, one of their guards. Uh, I think last year against you guys, he had 19 one game, I think 25 in this game. Now, I should remember him or not pretty well, but he's a guy who can score pretty well. What's the major key for, you know, kind of limiting him defensively? Uh, just keep him in front of us. Um, you know, it's just simple. Uh, it's definitely going to take a team defense, but, you know, just if that's your assignment, then, you know, you, you know what you got to do. You know, watching their games against Southern Miss, it seems like they're very patient, very experienced, very poised out on the court. Um, you know, I know you guys can get going in transition and stuff, play good defense. You know, is there a tempo that you would like to play this game at? Um, you know, our pace. You know, we want to play at our pace. You know, we don't want to play anybody else's game. So, uh, you know, we're just going to do our best to keep playing how we play. Appreciate it. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, Ty. Have a safe trip down. Hey, Carson, this is Jared with the Daily News again. Um, you know, this was the first question I asked Tay, hey, too. You know, a lot of athletes and coaches and stuff, um, you know, they go with the cliche of every game's the same, approach every game the same. But with a team like North Texas um, and you guys, you know, you guys are expected to both be, you know, near the top of CUSA. You guys have battled um, these last couple of years for that, and they're coming off that regular season title. You know, um, is there any extra motivation considering those things and, you know, what kind of opportunity does this matchup present itself for you guys? Uh, yeah, like you said, um, treat every game the same, but this one, this one does feel a little bit different with uh, both of us supposed to be at the top of Conference USA right now. And uh, the way last season finished with uh, them one and us two in the conference and going down there, having the opportunity to, uh, to win the regular season and coming up short this I guess you would say a little, little extra motivation going into this game, especially for the returning guys. You know, and for those returning guys in that game last year, I guess, what do you take away from that um, to try to like improve upon, or what do you, what can you just learn from that going into this series this weekend? Uh, you know, you uh, can't take any game lightly, you know, um, it all came down to, to one game for, for winning the conference last year. So, uh, I guess the main lesson from that is just come up uh, ready to go, uh, ready for any opponent that's, that's in front of you. This is Fred Calliel, WLKY TV in Louisville. You guys are enjoying arguably the best season, maybe a couple of decades. What are what are some of the reasons for your success, do you think, the, the recipe, and what makes you guys so hard to beat? You know, one thing I think that has been big, especially 
uh, over the last several games has been the, the chemistry that we've had as a team. I think we're really starting to, to come together and play together well right now. And uh, coming off one of our best performances of the year, I think we're only going to uh, continue to get better in that realm the, the more we play. So I think that's, that's a big part of our success right now. Carson, this is Jeff Leitzer from WBKO. You talked about finding your rhythm as a team, but you personally have had some of your better games recently uh, this season. Just kind of talk about how you feel like you've developed throughout this season. You might have started off slow, but starting to pick up pace right around this time of the year. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, as you said, didn't get off to the, to the start I wanted personally this season. Um, took some time to to figure out my role. I was uh, in a much different role this season than, than I was last most of last year. Uh, different team, different teammates. So it just took uh, took me some time to figure it out and figure out what exactly I needed to be doing to uh, to help the team in the most most way possible. Uh, Carson, this is Caden with the Herald. And going off what Jeff said, coaches always said throughout the season that you like to be active and you always like to be up and getting at it. Um, for the past few weeks, you know, it's, it's been kind of inconsistent with uh, outside things affecting the team. So how have you dealt with that personally? Uh, like you said, I like to stay active. So I just, I feel like I got to be doing something all the time. I'm, I'm type of a, I'm sort of a routine type guy. Um, like to stay in my routines, but you know, the last few weeks has, has made everything challenging, not knowing what to expect, not knowing if you're going to play or, or when you're going to play. So I uh, just got to try to always stay ready, stay in the gym, stay conditioned, and, you know, just keep working. Hey, Carson, Tyler Mansfield, Rivals.com. I, I guess for you, you know, being here for a couple of years now, it seems like down the stretch you guys are playing good basketball, then you'll slip up there and one of those games lose by, you know, two or three points. What will it take um, down this stretch to, you know, go and beat North Texas and then kind of finish strong before going to uh, the conference tournament this year? Uh, you know, we need everybody locked in. Uh, Every game is important. I can't have any mental slip ups. Everybody's got to be locked in and focused for every game out. And I think uh, every on the team's head's in the right place to be able to do that right now. Hey, Carson, this is Jared with the Daily News again. Um, you know, looking at this North Texas team on paper and on film, you know, it seems like an experienced team um, plays with a lot of poise. They're patient on offense, and that shows with their field goal percentage top in the league and uh, number three and three point percentage. And then they play good defense as well, you know. Um, in terms of trying to get them uncomfortable and whatnot with an experienced team uh, like you have as well, you know, I guess what's kind of the goal with that? Is it speeding it up or, or what? Uh, we haven't got into the scout too much, uh, too much yet. I think we'll get into that more today and tomorrow. But, you know, the main thing is we just need to play our game. Can't let anyone uh, really change the way we play. We just need to do what we do and um, let everything work out. Thank you.